In this session, we will discuss about basic logic gates. Logic gates are mainly used for realizing any electronic circuit. And uh, these gates are implemented or designed with the help of transistors. And uh, as we know that with the invent of the transistors, all the electronic circuits are designed with the transistors. And the advantage of going with transistors is low power consumption. So we will see the basic logic gates in the digital electronics that we have. So these are the things which we are going to discuss now uh, about the gates and then De Morgan's theorem and then multiple input gates. Okay. So initially we will start with the basic gates. So the first basic gate that is a NOT gate. It is also called as an inverter and here you can see this symbol or representation of a NOT. So NOT gate accepts only one input and provides only one so here the input is x and the output is y and here you can see the output expression of NOT gate that is y equals complement of x or else we can also call it as x bar. Later we will see how to represent this uh, complement. Now on the right hand side you can see the truth table of the NOT gate where x is the input and y is the output and if x is 0 then the output becomes 1. If x is 1 then the output becomes 0. Okay, now see if you can see here, this is how we represent a not symbol that is x bar. Okay, here we have taken an example in which I am going with two not gates, and the input to the first not gate is x, and the output of this not gate is x bar, and this x bar is again given as an input to the one more not gate. Therefore, ultimately, we get the output as x bar 4 bar where both the bars gets cancelled then the output becomes x okay now here you can see the two table for that so if x is 0 then x bar is 1 and x bar whole bar is 0 okay and if x is 1 then x bar is 0 and then x bar whole bar is 1 so this is how we represent a not gate and the next gate is and gate okay and this is the symbol which is used for representing an and gate and it is a gate which accepts more than one input. It accepts more than one input and provides only one output. Okay, so here x and y are the two inputs and z is one output. I took one AND gate which is accepting only two inputs now. Okay, now on the right hand side you can see the truth table for the AND gate. As I told you that, as I told you in the earlier session that AND gate output would be one only when all the variables, all the input variables are holding a logic 1. See, you can see the last combination, the output z becomes 1 only when x and y variables are 1. Okay, and this is what the expression for AND gate, that is z equals x, y. Okay. Now let us see one more gate, that is OR gate. And uh, it is also similar to the AND gate, that, that, that means it will accept more than one input but only provides one output okay and this is what the symbol used for representing the OR gate where I took two input OR gate where two inputs are X and Y and the output is Z okay and the output expression for this OR gate is Z equals X plus Y okay or, or else we can also call it as X or Y and the truth table for the OR gate is given here that is here the output becomes 1 when one or more inputs of the OR gate is 1. Okay, If both of the inputs or all the inputs of the OR gate is 0 then the output is C. Right? So this is what this is how we represent an OR gate and this is what the truth table of the OR gate. Let us see the next gate that is now we will discuss about NAND and NOT gates. So NAND gate so NAND gate is a combination of an AND gate and a NOT gate. Here bubble represents a NOT gate. Okay. And it is also similar to the all the gates that it accepts more than one input and provides only one input. Here I took uh, here I took a two input OR gate, the, uh, sorry, two input NAND gate where X and Y are the two inputs and Z is one output. And the output expression here is Z equals XY whole complement. Okay, and this is what the truth table of the NAND gate, which performs a inverse operation of the AND gate. 
as you can see here if both of the inputs are one then the output is becoming zero and if any one of the input or all the inputs are zero then the output is one so it performs the inverse operation of the nand gate okay and we can also uh, we can also represent this nand gate in the other way that is this is how we represent that so i told you that bubble represents a not gate so here bubble is represented with a not gate so not plus and is nothing but a nand gate here you can see the output expression for w is xy and the output expression for z is w bar which is that what xy whole bar right now let us see the next gate that is nor gate so nor gate it again accepts more than one input and then it provides only one output here it is a two input nor gate where x and y are two inputs and the output is z okay and it is uh, again we can say that nor gate is a combination of uh, that is or gate and a nor gate why because here you can observe one bubble okay and the output expression for z is z equals x plus y whole complement or whole bar okay and the truth table for this one is uh, x y are the inputs and z is the output here you can see it is again performing inverse operation of the or gate okay so what is or gate if more than one input or one of the input of the or gate is one then the output is one but whereas here if any one of the input or all the inputs are one then the output is zero if all the inputs are zero then only the output is one so it is performing the inverse operation of the nor gate okay so this is what uh, this is how we uh, symbolize the nor gate that is not plus or which gives you a nor gate now let us see the de morgan's theorem by applying this de morgan's theorem uh, we can give some other alternate symbols for the nand and nor gate let us see so this is the basic nand gate and the output of this nand gate is z equals xy whole bar so if we apply a de morgan's theorem on this expression then we get the expression as z equals x complement plus y complement okay so here x complement and y complement are the input variables to this gate therefore the output becomes now z equals x complement and y co plus y complement why because x complement and y complement are the inputs to the or gate therefore you get the output as x complement plus y complement if you can see the output expression that is z for uh, this symbol is 1 1 1 0 and the output expression z for this symbol is again the same that is 1 1 1 0 for these combinations okay so the alternate symbol for representing a nand gate is this so this is how we represent the nand gate and uh, this is what we have applied so x y whole bar equals x complement plus y complement where not all the variables how can you achieve this just by doing all these things that is not all the variables and change and to or and or to and and again not the result then you will get this kind of expression okay now this is what the basic nor gate and this is what the alternate symbol for the nor gate here z equals x plus y whole complement is the expression for the nor gate and if you apply the de morgan's theorem on this so what we have to do initially not not the variables okay and uh, then we have to replace and with or and or with and and then again not the result then you will get this kind of expression where x bar and y bar okay so x is given as an input but here you can see not gate therefore the input to this and gate is x bar and y bar and the output becomes x bar y bar so if you can compare this truth table with this truth table then you can see that the output expression z here as well as the output expression z here are same okay so this is the alternate symbol for representing the not so this is what we have done not all the variables change and to or and or to and and then not the result to get the alternate symbol for not gate right now let us see the other gates that is xor gate as well as xor gate xor is nothing but exclusive or gate so xor it is again the same thing that it accepts more than one input and provides only one output so here i took an example of two input xor where 
x and y are two inputs and this is what the symbol which is representing the xor gate and z is the output and here you can see z equals x xor y this is the output expression for the xor gate and we can also represent this uh, in this way that is z equals x y complement plus x bar y okay and this is what the truth table of the xor gate okay so what this truth table is saying if any one of the input is one or else if both the inputs are zero if all the inputs are zero or if all the inputs are same then the output is zero okay if all the inputs are same then the output becomes zero if any one of the input differs then the output becomes one okay so this is what xor gate and let us see the next gate that is exclusive nor gate and this is what the symbol for representing the exclusive nor gate it again accepts more than one uh, more than one input and provides one output okay so here you can see a not symbol which represents that it performs the inverse operation of the xor gate okay so this is what the output expression z equals x xor y whole complement or z equals xy plus x bar y bar and this is what the truth table for the exclusive nor gate where x and y are the input variables and z is the output as i told you that it performs the inverse operation of the exclusive or gate here you can see the output expression for z that is 0 1 1 0 so it replaces 0 with 1 and 1 with 0 in this truth table okay so this is what exclusive nor gate now let us see the multiple input gates so this is how the multiple input gates are uh, represented so here it is an and gate here it is an and gate here it is or gate and here it is nor gate where all these gates are receiving more than one input okay so multiple input and gate where z1 is the output and all these are the inputs okay so output z1 is high only if all inputs are high as i told you that if all the inputs are high then only the output becomes high if any one of the input is low then the output becomes low and open input will float high multiple input or gate where these are the multiple inputs to the or gate and z2 is the output and uh, output z2 is low only if all inputs are low so here the z2 becomes low only when all the inputs are low if any one of the input is high then the output becomes high and multiple input nand gate okay so z3 is low only if all inputs are high if all inputs are high then the z3 becomes low okay and multiple nor gate same again it performs the inverse operation of the nor or gate okay that is z4 is high only if all inputs are low so this becomes high only when all the inputs are low now let us solve Uh, based on this uh, concepts let us solve some of the examples okay find the output of the following circuit and this is what the circuit okay and uh, x and y are the two input variables now we have to find out the output expression now this is the or gate which is taking two inputs and this is the nor gate which is again having one input and the outputs of this or gate and nor nor gate are given as an input to the and gate okay so as we know what is the output expression of the or gate so x and y are the variables therefore the output expression is x plus y so this is what the output expression and y is the input for the not gate therefore the output expression is y complement or y bar now these are the inputs given to and gate therefore the output of the and gate is x plus y into y bar okay so this is what this is how we are going to uh, get the expressions for the given circuit okay now here you can see that i just changed the connection from here by representing it individually so we can also go with this find the output of the following circuit now this is what the circuit where you can see x and y are two input variables which are given to two not gates and the output of the and the output of these not gates are given as an input to the and gate and the output of this and gate is given again as an input to the not gate okay now what is the output of this first not gate that is x bar and the output of this not gate is 
y bar and the output of this AND gate is x bar y bar and the output of this NOT gate is x bar y bar whole bar. Okay. Write the circuits for the following Boolean algebraic expressions. Now, we have to design a circuit for this expression that is x complement plus y. So, let us see how to design this. So, x and y are two variables and uh, we have to get x complement for that I have to use a NOT gate. So, I use a NOT gate so that I am getting x complement. Okay. Now, this x complement and y should be given as an input to the OR gate. So, I have given that so that I am getting x complement plus y. But the circuits for the following Boolean algebraic expressions. So, here this is what the expression that is x plus y whole complement into x. So, first of all we have to take the input variables x and y. Okay. Now, what I have to get here? Initially, I have to get x plus y. So, for that I am taking an OR gate. Okay. So, the output of the OR gate is x plus y. Now, this x plus y should be given as an input to the NOT gate. Therefore, I am getting x plus y whole complement. And this is given as an input to the AND gate along with x. Therefore, you will be getting x plus y whole complement into x. Thank you.